we all need water. But only 2.5% of the water that exists on Earth is fresh water. That's not very much. Knowing where fresh water is and how we manage it can help us provide a solution to one of our most pressing problems, making sure there is enough water to sustain all living things on the planet. So where is this water and how much is there of it? About 70% is in the form of ice, 30% is groundwater, and lastly only 1.2% is surface water, namely rivers, lakes, ground moisture, permafrost and water present in the atmosphere. It's a common perception that fresh water exists only in rivers and lakes. But most liquid fresh water is actually hidden underground and can be found in the most unexpected places. So, who uses this water and how is it managed? Domestic use accounts for 11% of total fresh water consumption, industry 19% and agriculture 70%. Apart from fisheries and aquaculture, farmers grow and breed the vast majority of the food we eat, using the greater part of the planet's freshwater resources. Two terms have been coined to refer to the water used by agriculture, blue water and green water. When rain falls over a field, some of that water gets stored in the upper soil as moisture. This is called green water and accounts for most of the water used in agriculture. Blue water makes up all surface water such as rivers, lakes, as well as groundwater. These resources are exploited for irrigation when droughts occur and rainfall is scarce. Often these irrigation techniques are not efficient and can easily deplete aquifers, rivers and lakes. Industry is the second largest water user, mainly due to the fact that 90% of all electricity generation is water intensive. The current water usage in agriculture and industry is not sustainable. But we are also personally responsible for the global water footprint. We know about the water usage of a typical household. In developed countries, each person uses up to 300 litres of water every day. Washing the dishes, 30 litres of water per day. Taking a shower, up to 80 litres of water per day. Flushing a toilet, 65 litres per day. Doing the laundry, up to 100 litres per load. But we consume far more water than we might realise. In fact, we each consume as much as 5,000 litres of water every day. About 90% of our water consumption is invisible to us. This is what we call virtual water. Water is essential for the production of just about everything, from goods to electricity to manufactured products, but mostly for the food we eat. Meet Daisy. Daisy needs 8,500 kilograms of wheat, corn, grain and roughage to reach maturity over a period of three years. It takes 3,060,000 litres of water to grow her food. We also need to take into account the 24,000 litres of water she drinks during these three years, not to mention the 7,000 litres used to service the farmhouse, transportation and for the process of slaughter. In total, we then need almost 3.1 million litres of water to produce 200 kilos of boneless beef. That is more than 5,000 litres for a modest 300 gram steak. Obviously, not everyone on the planet consumes the same amounts of fresh water each day. In fact, people living in developed countries are a privileged minority. Think that 3 billion people still lack access to safe drinking water. That's almost half the Earth's population. It would make a queue of people long enough to stretch to the moon and back again. All of us, and people in developed countries in particular, must be aware how our water consumption affects the planet and all living things in it. In the era of technology and information, ignorance about our water footprint is unacceptable. Globalization has shrunk the world. We are all highly interconnected and our consumption patterns have an impact much beyond our local communities. Live sustainably. Act responsibly. Let's not lose sight of a bigger picture. <laughs>